Okay guys, so moving on with the Amazon PPC campaign, we're gonna launch a sponsored products campaign. So we're just gonna click continue here. And this one is gonna be a little bit different than last week's video. So in this case, it's gonna be in manual campaign. It's not gonna be an auto campaign. So the name of this is gonna be new competition. We're gonna target our new competition. So whoever our competitor is, people are always launching in pretty much every single market, okay? But that doesn't mean that they're all gonna be really 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 good competition for us some of them will but some of them will not that's just what it is so and those people that are new to the amazon game and are direct competitors but they're launching a product that's just not better than ours ours is way better and we're gonna have more reviews our listing is gonna be way better our pictures will be way better our product is gonna be way better overall so i'm just gonna have an amazon window here just in case if we need it but the name of this is gonna be well as you guys already know i like to put the auto if i'm launching an auto campaign or an man if it's a manual campaign so manual campaign fba001 and as i mentioned we're gonna launch a new competition campaign so it's gonna be nc for new competition on my product i'm gonna sponsor this one on the targeting it's gonna be a manual campaign and then here on the manual targeting it's gonna be a product targeting campaign okay it's not gonna be any keyword and the reason why it's gonna be a product targeting is because you're gonna come here and you're just gonna look for your keyword whatever that is look for your main keyword so you're gonna go to Amazon and you're gonna look up. So you're gonna go to Amazon and look up for your keyword just like you would normally do it. And the trick here is that what not many people know and what they're not aware of, what not many people talk about is that you're, you're gonna go here on the sort by. And we're gonna sort by and it's gonna give us a drop down menu and we're gonna go on newest arrivals. Remember when you launched on Amazon, you didn't have any reviews, you didn't have any backup as an audience. So that's pretty much what all these people are gonna be like okay so they don't have reviews a listing looks pretty bad with no reviews so this is pretty much people that have launched in the last 30 40 days but the thing is that all these people are trying to get reviews are trying to make money or trying to get a lot of sales just like us just like everyone else so these people are launching campaigns launching manual campaigns automatic campaigns they are all doing the same thing. If you have the Helium 10 extension, it's gonna give you the ASINs of pretty much all the products here. And the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna grab those ASINs. That's why we set this up as product targeting, okay? Because remember, it's gonna ask us for ASINs. Uh, here on the individual products, we're just gonna put enter a list. And this is where we're gonna put the ASINs, okay? So it's gonna be an exact, this, I always like to do it on custom bid, do 50 cents, 60 cents, that's usually more than enough. And this is really, really easy money because if you have four stars, 4.5, five stars, and a lot of reviews compared to these people, so that means if you have 10 reviews, which is a really, really low amount of reviews, you're gonna outperform these people really, really easily. So that's gonna be really easy money. And the way it works is that, for example, I'm just gonna, let's say that I'm a customer, I'm just gonna look up for this product and I'm gonna appear here. See, this one, see, this one is doing the exact same thing that we're gonna do right now. And this one, this one has 4.5 stars with 94 reviews at selling at 42. 99 this is selling as 15 as a 15 dollar product but obviously this is gonna get the attention of a lot of customers thanks to this strategy that i'm showing you guys right now so as you can see it's a sponsor campaign so that's a really good sign because that means that this is probably working like this campaign that this seller is doing this y and k homish wedding product is doing is profitable that's gonna be most of the cases So we're gonna turn off the expanded option and we're just gonna go to the exact. So once we have the ASINs of around 10 products, so it's gonna be this row right here, this row right here, and this one, I usually like to put uh, 10 ASINs here. Um, not more than that, because it's gonna be a lot of ASINs, it's got a data in one campaign. So you can just launch two, three campaigns this same exact way. And that way you're gonna have 
20, 30 products just sitting there making money for you. Because again, all these people have traffic. People are clicking on these ads and you have the chance to outperform these people just by setting up a campaign that's really easy to do. I mean, this is not gonna take you more than five minutes to get all these ASINs and just put them all here as a list. There's a suggested section, search, enter list, because that's what you're gonna put here. You're just gonna manually enter the list. That's the way I do it or upload, but I just like to do it under list and the way it's going to look then, okay, let's just say that I'm going to grab this ASIN and put it here and it says target and then it's going to give us the option what the product is. Well, it's going to give us the description of what the product is, the listing, and um, it's going to recognize that we are targeting a product. So just like it says here, it says product and then the brand, which is pretty zoom and that's it. So this is a really easy campaign to pretty much print money. And again, you're going to have to one 10 ASINs just like, so it's going to look like something like this when you have all the 10 ASINs and here it's going to be pretty much the same dynamic bits down only the campaign the campaign name it's going to be pretty much the same as the ad group name so just put it right here and no end date and launch campaign and that's it